I toured with Parliament, I toured with Funkadelic, I toured with the Ohio Players. I played for Prince's Prince's first female bass player. That's how he got a female years later. Wow. And so for him, I toured for him and uh, for just a year, though. That was just to get out of my Paisley Park deal because he wanted me to be an artist. Mm -hmm. And he wanted me to be something at the time that I didn't want to be. Like Vanity? Yes. Yeah. He saw he saw that, but he saw a music. He saw Sheila E and Vanity smashed together in mm -hmm. me. I could see it. And I loved Denise. I loved her. She yeah, was for awesome. Sure. For sure. Um, she wasn't the talent that he wanted, but yeah. she had everything else. Right. And he wanted the talent that Sheila E had it as a musician. Yeah. Mixed with a look. Yeah. That Denise had. I could see that because Vanity was dope. I liked yeah. her, but she couldn't really sing. But no. she had the look. She and she had charisma, charisma. She had personality. Yeah, she yeah, had yeah. all that stuff. She was dope. So he wanted to turn me into a combination of those mm -hmm. two and basically be naked on stage. And at the time, because I was a female playing a bass, which mm -hmm. is a male-dominated instrument, mm -hmm. and I was young, I was like, I don't, I'm not trying to be out there and just be a girl in heels. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted to be more than that. Yeah. I get the appeal of it now. Right. I ended up doing that later. Right. But at the time, I was like, no, you need to take me serious. That's a, so I was like, look, I signed, and I wanted out of my deal, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't let me out. And how I got out was touring f with him for a year. Wow. So What I kind of guy out. was Prince? A genius, mm -hmm. a scary, amazing genius. Why do you say scary? Um, because you didn't know what he was going to do. Mm -hmm. um, you couldn't predict him. There was pieces of you that wanted to, but you couldn't. So it's best to let it go and just mm -hmm. figure out what. He was a perfectionist. He was. He would change clothes before he he would walk in a studio, not feel his outfit. Mm -hmm. Us, we're just waiting there. Could be all night. Because he'd go home and change 15 times <laughs> until he felt a moment. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. And then he would play. And then you were you either stayed or you had to go. If he could pick your instrument up and play it better than you, which he could all of them, mm -hmm. you needed to go. Really? Yeah. It was, he was, he was, I learned more than anything with him. Mm. Anything about not just what I did as a musician, but my attitude, um, sort of. He was an all-encompassing performer, mm -hmm. and I learned a lot. Like, I needed to be the best at what I did because mm -hmm. he was the best at what he did, and he did it all. Mm. So was his, like, behind closed doors, was, it, was he the same as his public persona, or was he different? He liked to cook. Mm -hmm. He liked to play basketball for real, and he did it in heels, and he yeah. did it better I heard than anybody that. I ever Everybody saw. says oh that's my God. true. But that, that's 100% yeah. the truth. Yeah. I watched it. He'll do it in the middle of the night, too. he get everybody up out of their bed. We all play, we, we going in the back. He, he, lived in, <laughs> he had a place in Beverly Hills at the time because uh -huh. we used to record at Larrabee um, West, which mm -hmm. is in West Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, he would get out there. Everybody get up. Wow, we going to play basketball. He could really. I heard he ran his ship with a with an iron fist, though. You know that he pretty much. Yeah, yeah it was his way. It was. Yeah. It was strictly my vision. You do it my way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was. That was never a question. <laughs> really. Mm -mm. <laughs> not not if you wanted to stay. Wow.